video of the Orion Teletrack with the uh, new application. We uh, got to select mount. It's waiting for connection. Tap on that. Hit accept. That's the Bluetooth we have in there. Accept. Now it says it's connected. We go ahead and change it from DOB to the all view. Accept the changes. And it's connected. Okay. If we use the hand pad there, there's a different arrow direction keys. I'll press that. Okay, it turns it round so it is actually connected to the mount. Okay, now that we've got uh, that all done, uh, our location's going to be fine because uh, we've got our longitude and latitude in that setup. Uh, we go to the tracking button. We just press the tracking button, it brings down another menu and it shows you all the different settings within it. Okay, it says uh, alignment no. What we need to do is now is click on that and it brings a star chart up and it'll say, you know, which star do you want to uh, select in that northern part of the sky or you can select northern and go to the southern sky and it says Canopus. Then you go down here and you accept changes. Then it comes up and says center the star Canopus in the eyepiece and click next. So if it's lined up on Canopus, go ahead and click there. Please wait. Now it's bringing up the second star. So say for instance, uh, there's there's all the different stars. We'll uh, just select one in the list there. And uh, we'll find something. We'll, there, there's Betelgeuse. And then we'll click accept changes. Now the scope is moving. That's fine. So it'll move around there. Now that it's stopped, you'll come back to the uh, screen on here and it says center the uh, star Betelgeuse in the eyepiece. You can use that with your hand pad. Uh, you, you just click on the hand pad there on the, um, on the screen and then you can go left and right, up and down, center it and then just go back to uh, the, um, the tracking. Once you've got back to the uh, the tracking menu, tracking screen, there, uh, it'll say center Betelgeuse in the eyepiece and then click here. Again, so you click that and now that's aligned. Now that it's aligned, you can just escape out of that part of it. You go into Sky Safari Pro version 4.5 for Android. Uh, it's all set up in the Wi-Fi part of it. Hit connect. It's connected. That's how quick it is. And it'll show you where it, uh, it, it it's located. And the last one was on Betelgeuse. So there's Betelgeuse there. So we'll pick something um, uh, something else there. Sorry that the um, screen on this isn't very good. Uh, we can click on, say, Mercury. And hit go to um, on the screen there. And you can see that's moving the scope. And it's moved it in on Mercury. Okay, if we want to hit Pollux over there, we'll just click on um, Pollux around there. Hit our go to. Okay, this is where the problem is, and now you can see it moving ever, ever so slowly. Uh, 
Now it could take two, could take four minutes, could take five minutes. I'm not going to sit here for the demonstration of this video and go all the way through this. You can see it's moving very slowly. I'll just give it another minute because this has got to be uploaded to YouTube. And it goes very, very, very slowly. You can see the, the scope there. It's just connected via Bluetooth. There's no problems there. Oop, the screensaver came on. So you can see it, it, it's moving really, really slow. Longitude, latitude's working fine now. It just seems to be this uh, little bit of a problem. Okay, if we hit the um, stop button, we'll pick um, a different star. We'll go up to Cirrus. We'll hit uh, go to. Again, then you get this little in the motor and you can see it's very very slow movements on the screen said so this could take minutes to to get up there but you can get the gist of what's going on here with this uh, new application and uh, all the application is set up correctly as you can see it's just taking its time getting up there before, when it first started, it was fine. Now, all of a sudden, bang. Okay, what we're going to do, just out of that for a moment there, and we're just going to um, click on the app, bring it back up again, and these are the settings that what it's done. Aligned, yes. Pan mode disabled. Alignment mode, two star. Track side reel. Enable track, track disabled. Don't know why it turns itself off. It does that itself. Maybe that's why it, when it's moving, it does that. Maybe if I um, go back to Sky Safari, which it'll bring it up, if I hit the um, the stop button, escape out of that, go back to the app, yeah, it's still enable track is disabled. So, um, yeah, you might like to um, find out what the, the go is on that. Longitude and latitude shows correctly, and uh, it picked the star up straight away. All right, um, hope this helps. Bye.